Jaclyn Hill is still taking a much needed social media break after all of the drama and controversy surrounding her lipsticks. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about a very important subject that all of us can learn from. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics from the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can pull to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And do me a favor, follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I have been working oh so, so hard on my new book, Rewire Your Anxiety. I am one chapter away from finishing the audiobook. My editor, Zach, he has been editing the crap out of it. So the audiobook, as well as the ebook, will be out this weekend, all right? So follow me on social media. I'm already giving away 20 free copies, and I will be doing more giveaways and all that. All right, anyways, so let's talk real quick. I was actually watching the part two of the spill video about the Jaclyn Hill thing. And real quick, real quick note, like if, you, if you're if you somebody who isn't coming to my videos <laughs> to learn how to improve yourself, like if you're into like just the tea and everything, like my favorite channel is Spill, all right? Like her videos have been getting longer and longer. And I'm like, oh, like last night, I'm like, are you really gonna tell me anything new? But it is just so well organized and covers so many different angles, like, they are excellent videos, but if you're watching this, you've probably already heard a spill. But anyways, I wanna, I wanna put a disclaimer out there. Like, this isn't a hate video about Jaclyn Hill. Like, Jaclyn Hill took a step back. I had some people mention that in previous controversies, like her mental health was severely affected, and I hope she comes out on the other side of this thing, all right? But again, like, the reason my channel exists is because so many of us watch all of this drama play out and we're doing the exact same thing in our own lives, right? And today we're gonna to be talking about taking personal responsibility, taking accountability, because so many of us are causing our own problems over and over and over again. Like so many of us are so delusional and I used to be one of these people, hell, sometimes I still am, where I'm just like, why is the whole world out to get me? Why is everybody against me? Why don't people just give me a chance, right? And we don't see, we don't have the self-awareness to understand why it keeps happening. But anyways, what made me wanna make this video was because <laughs> obviously like I am not like a, a makeup beauty influencer, like my beautiful girlfriend Tristan, you know, she's all into like makeup and beauty and stuff like that. But I'm just getting caught up to speed and watching the spill video, I really started to get the whole context of who Jaclyn Hill is, what's happened in the past. Like beforehand, all I really understood was that she had a couple like eh, launches, right? And I mentioned before, like if this happened, if this happened, like you need to buckle down and like hand check like every lipstick before it goes out. Like this is your time because if anything happens, like if anything happens, you will be screwed. And when I watched Spill video, I was like, oh my God. But the common theme I saw, because Spill did like this montage showing each of the, the issues that have happened, like her collabs with other people, like I think one was Becca and one was Morphe and everything like that. And here's the issue that I wanna talk about that all of us need to start working on. And it's this, passing the blame on to other people. Like when we are coming out and we're trying to take responsibility, we are never, ever, ever, ever going to get the amount of forgiveness that we want unless we take 1000% responsibility. I've mentioned this before with Tana Mojo, but Tana Mojo, she has like unlimited get out of jail free cards. But anyways, like for example, Tana Mojo is a great example with TanaCon, how she keeps blaming it on Michael Weiss. And she was just somebody who trusted too much and everything like that. Like we need to take responsibility. And you saw this with every single Jaclyn Hill one. On January 4th, Jaclyn addressed the situation in her December favorites video. I of course could do nothing about it. This is not my website, this is not my company. I don't understand how this whole IT thing works. I do makeup, not numbers. She said she had no control over what was happening. I was not aware of the situation because I was not as hands on with this palette. I was just responsible for the shade of champagne toast, 
but I was just told that it was gonna be Becca formulas and that's that. I'm like, are you kidding me? This is gonna be a huge scandal. Like I'm disappointing people. Once again, like here Jaclyn Hill goes like putting something out that it's just gonna cause like an uproar and I'm already under a microscope for everything I do. Like I'm gonna disappoint my subscribers. And here's the thing. And I wanted to make this video cause I see so many people do this or I used to do this as well. What you notice with the pattern of behavior from Jaclyn Hill is she always receives information from other people and then relays that information rather than getting the information herself. Now, I don't necessarily think in our cases, like all of us who do this, I don't necessarily think it's always laziness, but it definitely can be. But some people, without even realizing it, were trying to get that, addition, that information from an outside source. So that way when we relay it, if something's wrong, we could always say, oh, oh, well, I didn't say that. I was just giving you the information this other person was giving me, right? And that's something I consistently saw her do. Like, think about this. Like, maybe you do this at work or maybe you do this at school. Like, have you ever turned in a bad assignment at school? And you're like, oh, well, well, Billy told me I was supposed to do it this way. And it's like, okay, well, you should have got the instructions from the teacher and not Billy, right? Or did you screw something at work and said, oh, oh, well, well, Pam over there like told me to do this, so I did it that way. Like, get the information directly and you relay the information. Like, something I will keep talking about until the day I die is locus of control. If you want to figure out how to become happier, the book I highly recommend is The Happiness Advantage by Sean Aker. He is a professor of positive psychology. That's when I first learned about locus of control. Locus of control is believing that you have a direct impact on the results that you get and the circumstances in your life. People who have an internal locus of control are happier and less anxious. That's just science baby but when you look at Jacqueline Hill especially with her most recent video where she addressed everything like everything was blamed on the lab like it was the lab it was the lab it was the lab right but here's the thing like we need to take accountability for that we need to take responsibility for that and people aren't going to trust us in the future if we're not doing that like this is something I struggled with for a long, long time. And the reason why I, I'm trying to preach this to you guys so much is because I used to be that person. I used to be Jaclyn Hill. I used to blame everything on everybody else. Like, one example that I can give you is, like, even after I got clean and sober seven years ago, my son's mom still hated me. She didn't like me too much. Today we have an amazing relationship. But for a very long time, she still hated hated me and I had no idea why, right? Like, because I just thought, oh, I got rid of the alcohol and drugs. Isn't that what you wanted? No, the problem was I was still a dick. Like, I would always show up late when it was uh, came time to like come pick up my son for the weekend and things like that. Those were the things that were angering her. But even on top of that, I would never take responsibility for it. It wasn't because I left late, it was because of traffic, right? Like, do you see the difference there? Like me, me, if I leave early, traffic is irrelevant you see what i mean and this might be something that you're struggling with at work like think about it are you showing up late to work are you screwing up at work and constantly blaming other things other than taking accountability like this is something that i used to do if i was late it was because of traffic if i screwed something up somebody gave me the wrong information all these things like we need to realize like people are not as dumb as we wish they were okay like people recognize patterns of behavior. You see what I mean? Like, it is something that helps us survive. We have to recognize patterns or else we keep getting screwed over. So it's important to recognize and have the self-awareness. Like, are you making excuses? Do you keep making excuses? And we're never gonna get anywhere in life. We're never gonna improve our mental and emotional well-being if we don't sit down, if we don't sit down and analyze what happened. All right, like I will be completely honest with you guys right now. Like I had my own issues earlier this year, okay? And I have sat down, I have analyzed it over and over. Like, like not in like a super obsessive way, well, depending on when it was. Anyways, I looked at it, I'm like, where did I go wrong? Where did I screw up, all right? Because if it happens in the future, like I need to learn from my mistakes. You guys, that's the only reason I'm still clean and sober today. It's because I had multiple relapses in the past. 
And this last time I got sober, seven years ago, I sat down and I looked at how I was trying to stay clean and sober before. I looked at it, I analyzed it, and I was like, okay, well, everything I was doing didn't keep me sober. Maybe I should do the opposite of that, all right? So before you start blaming the world for all of your problems, take a step back for just a minute. minute. So before you start blaming the world for all of your problems, take a step back for just a minute and see what your part was. Where did you go wrong? Can you go back, can you retrace those breadcrumbs and think, if I would have done this instead of that, would this outcome be differently? And again, this video isn't a hate video about Jaclyn Hill, but here's my concern, okay? Like I mentioned earlier, some people said like, this is not her first time that she's had to take a social media break. My concern for her as well as the rest of you is that this is going to happen again and again and again, until you recognize your own patterns, until you start taking accountability for what your part is, these things are going to continue happening and you're gonna keep thinking that this world is just an awful place or maybe the universe hates you and all that. Like we need to empower ourselves and take control and realize what we need to do to change. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. Don't forget, follow me over on social media at The Rewired Soul because Rewire Your Anxiety is coming out so soon and I'm so excited. All right, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, get access to some perks and benefits. Some people even get free copies of all my books. Click or tap right there. All right, thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.